OK, so in this problem, a certain medicine is broken down by the body so that half of the remaining dose in the system is broken down every 12 hours. If a patient takes 400 milligrams of medicine in the morning and 400 milligrams of medicine in the evening, what is the long-term effective level in the patient's system? So what we're saying here is that in the morning, uh, the patient takes 400 milligrams. Okay. By the evening, so if we're saying that every morning and evening is 12 hours apart, in the evening, the uh, amount of medicine that is still in the patient's system is now only 200 grams because, or milligrams, sorry, so that half of the remaining dose in the system is broken down every 12 hours. So half of it's broken down. So the patient's only got 200 milligrams left in the system by the evening. But then they take another dose of 400 grams. I keep on saying grams, milligrams, okay? So they've now got 600 milligrams in their system. 12 hours later, the level that they did have in the evening, 600, has been halved. It's down to 300, but they have another dose. So 300 plus the 400 makes 700. Okay. So then by the evening again, half of the morning dose is now gone. So we're down to 350. They have another dose, which brings us up to 750. Then, in the morning, 750 has been halved, okay, and then we add on another dosage, so we get to 775. Then, by the evening, half of that is gone, and we add on another dosage, so 787.5. So, I'll do one more. By the morning, half that, add on another dose. We're up to 793.75. So the gaps between these amounts are certainly decreasing. Okay. So um, what will be the overall effective level? Okay. Now, what's happening? Well, what we're adding on each time is decreasing. So if you have a look at this, we've got adding on 200, then we're adding on 100, then we're adding on 50, then we're adding on 25, then 12.5, then 6.25. So the actual amount that's being added on is getting halved each time, okay? So you could say that we're starting off with this 400, but you could look at that 200, 150, 25, 12.5, 6.25 as the actual series. Okay, so we've got um, 200 plus 100 plus 50 plus 25 plus and so on. This is a geometric sequence where well, we've got a first term of 200 and a common ratio of a half. Okay. Now, for that, because we're looking at long-term effective level, we could look at the sum to infinity. So the sum to infinity of this is A, 200, over 1 take away 1 half. Okay. Which is 400. So the long-term effective level is that initial dose plus this sum to infinity. So the long-term effective dose or effective level is actually 400 plus the 400. So 800 milligrams. Okay. And that is how what, well, what um, pharmacies and uh, pharmacists need to think about when uh, thinking about dosage level for certain drugs.
okay? So thinking about how much needs to be retained in the system over a period of time and how often a drug needs to be taken.